G'day guys, Robert from Outback Equipment. Today's install video on our tinny build series, we're doing away with the tinny and working on the trail. So installing some brand new keel rollers, some new skids and trail weights. Alright guys, now we've got the boat off the trailer, going ahead and replacing all of our keel rollers. Just for the sake of these, they're starting to wear a little bit in the centre and obviously scuffing, which can cause damage to your hull as well. So we're going ahead and replacing all these three keel rollers. We're actually replacing our rear keel roll with what we call a self-centering roller. The idea of this roller, as you were to roll it forward, it drags the centre of the keel to the centre of your trailer. Pretty much a must have on all aluminium boats. So we'll go ahead and replace all of our spindles too, along with our split pins. The rest of our wood yokes and brackets are actually in pretty good condition, apart from the occasional little bit of surface rust. If you're worried about surface rust, guys, you can grind sand those back and just touch them up with galvanised paint. But because these are in good condition, we're just going ahead and replace our rollers today. Same along with our skids. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So we've removed our split pins then, just taking out your spindle, taking out our rear roller, grabbing our self-centering roller. Again, as I mentioned before earlier in the video, we just want to make sure that's actually coming inwards. As you see there, that's going outwards as it's coming out. So we want to flip this over. We want this coming inwards of the center of the hole. Putting our new spindle through. And so we'll go whack them in. Just with our split pin guys, we're just kind of making an M shape, but it's not going to come back through. Alright guys, so we've got our dog bone roller. Just want to do exactly the same as our self-centering roller. So putting our spindle through and again just using our split pins. So we're wrapped up with our rollers there. Moving on to our install of our trail lights. We've gone ahead and chosen LED as our brand. These guys are around in the industry for such a long time, not only just doing trailer boats, but for also caravans and four-wheel drives. This particular kit we do have here today is your two left and right. This also having a number plate light too. So great, we're gonna have to change the number to the opposite side for regulations. So this set being a kit with your wiring, it'll suit up to an eight meter trailer. So all your wiring up to your trailer plug will go ahead and put a brand new trailer plug on there soon too. So we'll whack these ones in now. With our existing lights, we're just gonna go ahead and remove all the nuts on the back of these lights. But just in removing this, because we're not obviously using existing wire, we're just gonna cut right in behind this plate. Just removing that wiring there. With our existing wiring there, we're just going to leave it there for the time being. We'll be removing that shortly and I'll be feeding them through your new wiring. As I mentioned before guys, these being a boat trailer lights, these are IP67 rated, so fully submergible, waterproof. Obviously nice ceiling in the back of the actual light itself. Nice and slim too, obviously they've got a nice looking style to them. They're a smoke sort of lens. I think it's going to tie in really nice with our colour scheme wrap and mud guards and ties we're going to be doing very soon as well. With our wiring harness, we want to go ahead and open that, get access to that. Straight away, we're going to feed our wiring through our little hole here. So also in our kit, guys, with our lights, we've got our washers, spring washer and nut there, which we're just going to straight away just bang this one in now. It's just quickly, guys, too. Not going to be able to tell which is left or right. Cleverly, they've got just on the back of the casing there, is cutting its left side. Move this side again we'll just cut our wire we're going to have to actually use our brackets here only reason being this side obviously for our number plate we'll use our existing brackets go ahead and do exactly the same feeding your wiring through got our existing mounting holes either side there so still nice easy install So looking from our front end guys, this is underneath is a number plate light. We've got enough meat there obviously on that plate there. We can actually go ahead and put our number plate on. So with our old wiring guys and new, we're going to use this as our feeder line. So we're going to be pulling our old existing line to the front of the A-frame of the trailer, feeding that new cable through. Ideally, you want to be using electrical tape for this obviously as a joiner. Probably put a couple zippy ties on that and we'll go ahead and feed that through. 
So we're at the A frame of our trail, obviously next to our trailer plug. Rather than pulling the lead through here, which does come through the, the draw bar of the trailer, we want to be coming at the section in front of the A frame. This is a lot of leftover wiring where it's normally left. It's going to be a lot easier pulling it through your channel tube before it comes through the draw bar. So we'll go ahead and pull this one through here. So now we've got our new cable there. We're going to do exactly the same to the other side, feed that through first. So the back of the light, we just pulled all that cabling through to our draw bar. With our old cabling there, we've just cut that closest to. Then we can actually feed the rest of the remaining old wiring through to the front of the draw bar. We're going to be just be manually feeding a new wiring. We've run all our cabling through our draw bar now at the stage of wiring up our seven pin flat. For the purpose of this video, we're just using the original one we did have on the trailer. It's a little bit dirty, dusty, but still gonna do the job at the end of the day. There's nothing wrong with it. Now we've got a seven pin flat uh, plug all wired up. Now we're onto the stage of replacing our skids. Our chosen brand that we've picked is Five Oceans Marine. And this being a 1.5 meter long skid, 40 mil wire Teflon. So we'll go ahead and remove this one and bang it in with a new one. So we've removed one side so far. I mentioned obviously with our rollers and things like that, we're able to use our existing wood yokes, our brackets, because again, it's only the light sort of surface rust. They're actually still in really good condition. With this one taken off, we've got our new one here. We're just gonna basically give a rough indication of where it's gonna sort of sit. Even though this one's slightly shorter, I'm going to use the arc of the back of the existing one matching up with the new one and just get a rough indication of where our bolt holes are going to go and then we're going to mark out with a permanent marker. Now we've drilled our holes out, we're right to put that straight in using our bolt. Again. Now we've got that in, we've just got everything finger tight, we're right basically tighten this one all up now. Alright guys, that finishes the install of your brand new skids. Again, a nice easy one you can do at home. Replacing your old ones, there is a slight difference in height. So when we've got the tinny back on, we'll have to adjust it a little bit. Just reminding the skids aren't there to take the full weight of your boat. So they're there basically as a rocker to stop it from rocking around. Key rolls is where you would take all the weight of your boat. We'll get the tinny on very soon. We'll adjust all the skids up to where they need to be. Job done. So now that we've got the trail all wired up, the best thing to do obviously before heading out on the water, jump in the car. We're just gonna go through lights, make sure our indicators, brake and tail all are working. Go and do that now. So that wraps up our install video of our brand new trailer lights, our new rollers and skids. Next week's video, we'll be installing some brand new mud guards and tires. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Of course, guys, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you've liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.